Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to do an acrylic pour on a vase. This is just an 8x10 canvas with a 7 inch tall glass vase. The only thing I've done to prep the vase is cleaned it with rubbing alcohol. If you don't have rubbing alcohol, clean it with water. You just don't want any soap on there and cleaning it first helps to get any oils and dirt off. I have it setting up here on a cup, but first I'm going to go ahead and fill up my bowl with paint. I'm using a Lowly Vefe silicone bowl. I love these things, reusable till the end of time. And I'm going to be using the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint, which you can get from Michaels. All right, so for this size canvas, I only need about five ounces of paint. And this customer specifically asked for a variety of blues with some white and black. I'm using turquoise. This one is actually bright blue, even though it's pretty dark. And then I have a phthalo blue. And I mixed myself up a navy blue and then also like a metallic teal. But I'm gonna, I think, layer in some white here. And maybe also a little bit of the black. Definitely not using a lot of black. I really don't even have all that much, but I don't want this to be too dark. Now this, even though it probably looks like black, is a navy blue. So that will also be a good substitute for black. And then here is this metallic teal that I mixed up myself, just combining different colors. I think this is going to be so pretty. And I'm gonna just circle back through some of these blues here. And a little more white. Okay, so that should be plenty of paint for this size canvas. When I'm doing vases, I just go with the same amount of, of paint that I would need for the canvas size. And that gets both the canvas and the vase covered as long as you do not pour too quickly. So I'm gonna pour this slowly going around all the sides to make sure I get a pretty even coverage rolling down the sides here. And then I like to pour right in the middle in the tree ring fashion. And that just gives me the design that I like the best for vases. Keep in mind, of course, that the colors you put in first are going to be the ones that come out of your bowl last. So really keep that in mind when you're doing vases. Because that color is going to, the paint's going to keep running down. So it really, really matters what colors you put in first. So I'm going to let this sit and I'm going to let this just drain and run down for at least two, maybe three minutes. And then we'll come back once it has pretty much stopped moving, move the vase off and go ahead and do our canvas. All right, we're back. So this has majorly slowed down on dripping. You can even leave it for a little while longer if you want, but I like to wait until it's barely dripping and then pick it up by the cup carefully. And we're just gonna move this off to the side. And that's all we need to do with that for now. We're gonna just let that dry, but let's go ahead and do our canvas. Now, the great thing about these acrylic pours on vases is it gives you a really unique look on your canvas. All right, there we go. So that is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure all my sides and corners are covered. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and let these pieces sit here for a little while. I'll let the vase drain a little bit more and then I'll bring you in for a close up on both of these. So here is our canvas. Super pretty, loving all those blues. And this is a pattern, this kind of like feather-like pattern that you're not gonna get in any other way other than having, um, doing like a vase or something similar on a canvas. And this paint is really, really, really glossy. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and look at the vase. So I put the phone back on the tripod so I can actually rotate this. So you can see all sides. This is just beautiful. I love it. So now I always get asked, how do you seal the vase? So first of all, my canvases, I generally seal with just a spray sealer. All right, I have many videos on that. Vases, however, I like to seal with resin. Here's one, it's not completely done but you can see it's, it's sealed with resin it's nice and glossy and that gives it this glass like look and it makes it super durable you can wash it you can you know it's it's not the paint's not going to come off so i will put a link in the description also for a video on sealing my vases with resin please check that out I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you love it as much as I do and I hope the client is super happy. And I will see you all next time.